Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we're taking a look at retention policies and labels. So retention labels and policies help organizations to manage and govern information by ensuring content is kept only for a required time and then permanently deleted. Applying retention labels and assigning retention policies helps organizations comply proactively with industry regulations and internal policies that require content to be kept for a minimum time, reduce risk when there's litigation or a security breach by permanently deleting old content that the organization is no longer required to keep, and it ensures users work only with content that's current and relevant to them. When content has retention settings assigned to it, that content remains in its original location. So retention settings work with the following different workloads, SharePoint and OneDrive, Microsoft Teams, Jabber, and Exchange. So retention labels ensures data is held for a specific duration to meet a regulatory compliance or industry best practices. They are used to assign retention settings at an item level, such as a folder, document, or email. An email or document can have only a single retention label assigned to it at a time. So here, you see the retention labels applied to the which content. Retention policies are used to assign the same retention settings to content at a site level or mailbox level. A single policy can be applied to multiple locations or to specific locations or users. Items inherit the retention settings from their containers specified in the retention policy. And here, you can see the locations where the retention labels are applied. So this is similar to how the sensitivity labels work.